After you install Dynamic Environment Manager, you must specify which applications and settings to manage. The Easy Start button instantly adds many common Windows applications, including several versions of Microsoft Office and many Windows environment settings. You can then easily select an application or Windows setting to review and change the default settings. To illustrate how this works, first open the configuration file. The configuration file is inside the configuration share you created earlier. The file name is Emidio Flex Profiles Configuration.xml. Note that the file contains no application specific settings yet. Also take a look inside the general folder in the configuration share. Note that the folder is empty. Application specific files will be created in this folder. Start the Dynamic Environment Manager Management Console. From the Start screen, select the Management Console shortcut in the DEM folder. On the Personalization tab, note that in the left pane, no applications are listed under General. Now, click the Easy Start Toolbar button. Many commonly installed Windows applications will now be managed with Dynamic Environment Manager. Select the version or versions of Microsoft Office that are installed on the virtual desktop or RDSH server that you want to manage. You can use Easy Start settings for a proof of concept or use them as a starting point. Easy Start turns on quite a few settings which require some review before you put them into a production environment. In the left pane, under General, expand the Applications list and you see the applications that have been added. By default, when users log in and change application settings for these applications, their personalizations will be saved when they close the application. So for example, the user can have the experience of persistence even if the user gets a different instant clone VM every time they log in. You can examine the default settings and make any desired changes. Now when you navigate to the general folder on the file share, you see that an applications folder has been created there by the Easy Start feature. If you look inside, you might see application icon files, which have an ICO extension, application configuration files, which have an INI extension, and flag files, which have an INI.flag extension. Flag files are for configuring the application to use the Direct Flex feature. Using Direct Flex means the profile archive settings are imported and read when the user starts the application rather than when the user logs into the desktop. Application settings are saved when the user quits the application rather than when the user logs out of the machine. A Windows Settings folder is also created in the general folder. And if you select a version of Microsoft Office, a folder for that is also created. The approach of specifying which settings you do want to manage rather than which settings you don't want to manage might take a little more work up front, but this solution prevents excessive profile growth and profile corruption. It enables user settings to roam across Windows versions, and it lets you manage as much or as little of the user experience as needed.